back for the first time since 2019. Forgotten Harvest supporters can now look ahead to the return of the nonprofit's annual fundraiser meant to better connect women. Next month, attendees will be treated to great food, good networking, and special demonstrations. And joining us here now is Maureen Smith, Director of Corporate Relations with Forgotten Harvest. Good morning. Good morning. So we have this beautiful setup here. How does this play into the luncheon? Yes. Yeah, so a highlight of the Women's Harvest Lunch is sponsors of the event get to decorate their own tables. So this is kind of one of the tables that Forgotten Harvest will host. So we're going to do a fall harvest table. So just to show and highlight the beautiful colors and textures of the season. It looks so much fun. I, I love the pumpkins and the sunflowers. Now, why is this event so important for Forgotten Harvest? Of course, it's important because it brings together women and business leaders and community leaders to engage in conversation about alleviating hunger in our community and reducing food waste. And um, you guys actually have a new facility. We do. We Tell do. us about that a yes, little bit. Yes, we just uh, moved into our brand new facility on 8 Mile in Oak Park back in February. We went from about 30,000 square feet to nearly 79,000 square feet. And with that, we are able to increase distribution to underserved communities and also better service our current partners. Nice. I love it. I love when you're able to just keep expanding your mission because there's Absolutely. so many people, I'm sure, in Detroit that need the help. Absolutely. Was there a particular reason why you chose a, a women's luncheon over something else? Why you wanted to better connect women in particular? We just, back in the, this event actually started with our farm, up, which is up in Fenton. Oh, nice. um, and it's just a way to bring like-minded women together, increase awareness. Um, we brought it down to Royal Oak because the event has expanded and expanded since its beginning and we're so excited to bring it back. So we kind of talked about some of the things, the good food, the networking opportunities. Can you expand on that a little bit so people who might be interested in attending the luncheon kind of know maybe what they're Lunch. getting into? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So on top of networking and a delicious luncheon, we also have an exciting silent auction featuring packages from Zender Splash Village, um, a home in Florida, um, a round of golf at the Country Club of Detroit. We're having a mixology course provided by fried chicken and caviar this year, and also an impactful program highlighting the work Forgotten Harvest does in our community. I love that so much. Is there any other special sponsors that are gonna be taking part in this? Of course, our presenting sponsor is Kroger Company of Michigan, and they also serve as our grocery rescue partner, as well as General Motors is our networking sponsor. So the pandemic has just impacted us all in so many different ways. Um, how has the pandemic impacted Forgotten Harvest and how do you think this luncheon is going to help in those, I guess, like recovery efforts as we all kind of get back to normal here? Absolutely, we've definitely seen an increase in our lines at our pantries. Um, so all of the proceeds from this event will go to benefit our, our operations, especially providing fresh, nutritious produce, which is often overlooked and not readily available in our lines. And finally, where can people go to buy tickets, register, and, and how does that process look? Yes, for more information, they can visit our website, forgottenharvest.org, um, to purchase tickets. We do ask that tickets are purchased by September 29th, as we will not be selling tickets at the door. All right, and uh, the event itself is Thursday, October 6th at Royal Oak Farmers Market in between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And just as you said, tickets $100, sponsor packages in between $15,000 to $10,000, all going to a great cause, ForgottenHarvest.org. Yeah. So thank you, Maureen, yes, thank so you. much for being here with thank us you. this morning. Appreciate it.